Um, let's talk about Includer. So Includer is a fantastic theme. Again, we are making our way through the uh, relationship building uh, category when you think about what do they look like as, as leadership themes. When you think about Includer, we think about stretching the circle wider. Um, if Includer was a kid on the playground, it's the one who notices the other kid who's not playing, goes over and grabs their hand and brings them into the game. Um, and it's not just an action, it really is a philosophy under which people with high Includer orient their life. A couple things I like to highlight in the long definition, which is at the top of your companion guide if you're following along. If you're an includer, you actively avoid groups that exclude other people. Um, it's not just about being the person who includes, it's also about being pretty aware of exclusion. You're an instinctively accepting person and your accepting nature, here's where it's different from individualization. It doesn't come from necessarily a belief that each of us is different and special. Instead, includer comes from a belief that fundamentally we're all the same, that we are all equally important and that no one should be ignored. Um, each of us should feel included, feel heard, feel seen. That's the least that we all deserve. What a beautiful theme. When you think about it, um, within that relationship building domain, uh, again, the domain is about those themes where people lead by being the glue that holds a team together, by being uh, the, those themes that help us understand that together we can get more done than we can as individuals. So let's talk about what does Includer look like um, as a leader. If as an individual, Includer is about just bringing other people and making them feel part of the group, as a leader, Includer might be about making people feel part of a cause. So that could be your employees, your customers, your suppliers. Um, it can also look uh, very cerebral, very thought-driven in leaders, being able to question um, who will this decision affect? How will your message be received? Um, it's inclusive and including, both an action and a mindset. Uh, people with high includer, leaders with high includer might be able to imagine how can you affect your organization on both fronts? How can you help it, um, help the mindset as well as the action uh, be more inclusive? It may be from asking considerate questions that push other people to think more inclusively, to think bigger. It might also come from just extending hospitality to people, being the person who literally shakes the hand of, of other organizations or of, of other partners. Think about also Includer as what could help you build a more diverse or inclusive leadership pipeline. Understand that if you lead with Includer, you see people that others may not notice. Uh, so think about that as an opportunity to be a builder and a developer of talent and potential through what it is that you're noticing. Also, give other people a little bit of grace if they don't see it. I think Includer has a little bit more like an extra pair of glasses compared to other themes that allow you to see things that other people might ignore. Um, and you can, you can understand when you realize you have Includer and other people don't, that maybe that ignoring isn't intentional. So it, there might be a little bit of forgiveness that's necessary with Includer when you're working with people who don't have it. See it rather than um, a way, it, rather than a bone of contention, see that as a gift that you can bring to a partnership. Um, the, the last thing I want to say about Includer before we look at our four domains of leadership is a quote from someone named Verna Myers, and it says, diversity is being asked to the party, inclusion is being asked to dance. I love that quote because I think it helps us really see that Includer isn't just the thought or the, or the action, it is, let's take this and let's really make it meaningful. Let's not just send you the invitation, let's, um, let's help this become, this experience become part of who you are. So we've got our four needs of followers finally. A leader with Includer might build trust by building careful attention to confidentiality. Uh, be a voice for all. Think about being a, um, a, a an advocate, a, um, a, a standing up for, um, being somebody who can be a voice for, for every party, but also be that shoulder for one person at a time. Uh, a leader with Includer might show compassion by saying yes every single day to people who reach out to you. You might exhibit more welcoming emotion than you know. You might be a little bit more hospitable than even you know, which will probably attract people to you. Practice that, grow that as, as a talent and think about leveraging it by building upon it with, um, with strength, with knowledge, with, with skill. And one of those things you can practice is making sure that every single day you are reaching back out to the people who are reaching to you. 
a leader with Includer might build stability by thinking about intentionally leveraging or creating better networks for your team or your organization. Make partnerships outside of the typical circles. That might mean very easily professionally joining um, organizations that um, don't have quite as much of an obvious connection to yours. It also might mean looking for other ways that you can get involved with recruiting. It also might mean expanding um, your community involvement of your organization. And finally, a leader with Includer could build hope by being an advocate for those who might be excluded and doing it pretty intentionally. Think about illustrating the future benefit of inclusion through the way that you speak to people, through what you stand up for, through ways of working that you know are going to be more inclusive. In many cases, this might be small tweaks in a plan that other people didn't notice that make the entire plan or the entire initiative um, more welcoming, more palatable to a larger group of people. Again, in a leader, includer might be a little bit more about how we think about things. So it might be that you want to make sure that every policy that you have um, doesn't exclude certain groups of people, faith, religion, um, uh, gender, age, race. Um, that might be something that you really think about kind of on paper, more strategically. It also might mean that it is uh, just making sure that you can reach a wider audience. But think about as you're doing that, how you can use that to build hope by helping people see the benefit of it. It's not just a policy that you need to follow because it's the right thing to do. You can use that as a, as a leverage of hope by helping people see how the future is better when we include people.